Hey everyone, welcome back to Shop Life. We finally got an E46 M3 in with Vanos issues. So I know that sounds more like bad news, but luckily for y'all, you guys get to see uh, the most common issues with the S54 engine regarding to the Vanos assembly. This is gonna include the Vanos solenoids, the exhaust hubs, uh, the intake hub and exhaust hub bolts, as well as the solenoid valve body, and also the actual uh, oil pump disc, and even the Vanos internal parts for the accumulator. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we, here we have the S54. Uh, I've already pulled off the valve cover as well as the whole Vanos assembly, as you can see right here. Uh, we, have had, we have the hubs exposed now. This is the intake hub right here, and this is the exhaust hub. So some of the common issues that you might see with the hubs are either the tabs breaking off on the exhaust hub or the bolts that hold the intake hub to the camshaft, uh, those shearing off. So usually when that happens, if the bolts shear off, you'll hear some sort of uh, like marbles in a tin can noise, regardless of the RPM. But usually it does get worse the more you speed up. Uh, and eventually if all of the bolts shear off, you're just, you know, it's gonna cause a lot of trouble. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of damage as well. And obviously you don't want any loose parts, uh, you know, floating around in the engine. So that's one of the most common symptoms for the intake bolts shearing off. And it is good to just preventatively replace those as is with most of this whole Vano stuff. You kind of want to do all this stuff preventatively. If you wait until something breaks, chances are that you're going to have a lot more issues. So now as far as the exhaust hub goes, uh, like I said, these tabs are the ones that usually shear off. Uh, and when either one of these tabs shear off, uh, you're going to have running issues. So you're going to have you know rough idles. You're going to have a bunch of other issues. And that usually what happens is the oil pump disc that sits on top of this, uh, from factory, the clearance is a little bit too much. So, you know, there's a little bit of wiggle space for these tabs to like actually hit on the oil pump disc. And over time, you know, all the duty cycle and everything, the more they hit each other, you know, it's gonna wear out that tab and eventually break off. So as with the bolts, there are, you know, upgraded items for the bolts for the intake cam. There's also an upgraded hub that's available. So as far as the hub goes, there's a couple of options. I think VAC Motorsports just came out with one um, and they have beefier tabs. So it just, it just fills up that oil pump disc a little bit more. Uh, and I'll show you the oil pump disc here in a little bit. We have the whole Vanos torn apart in another, spec, in another section. Um, there's also the Turbo Toy Hub, which is practically the same thing. Uh, the tabs are enlarged. Uh, then there's Dr. Vanos assemblies. They have the cryo treated hubs, which are uh, some, you know, there's some sort of special treating for the metal. So it makes the hubs and the tabs a little bit stronger. Um, they also have a beefed up hub as well with beefier tabs. So there's quite a few options as far as that goes. But I mean, I wouldn't want you guys to jump to any conclusions. And like I said, preventatively, there are so many measures that you can take so that you don't have major issues down the road. So. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to this while we see it right here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Vanos with everything pulled off. All right, so here's the whole Vanos. I already have the oil pump disc removed uh, from the exhaust side and also have the solenoid and the ceiling plate removed as well. So like I said, you know, you don't want to always jump to conclusions. If you're not hearing any Vanos noise, uh, no rattling or anything like that, um, and you're getting, you know, Vanos related codes, or even either intake or exhaust timing codes. Uh, there, are, you know, you could also have issues with your camshaft sensors. So you want to take care of those. Um, but the most common issue is going to be this solenoid pack, as far as related to any codes. And this can also cause rough running situations, especially after you've driven the car for you know, a, you know, a spirited run when the whole solenoid pack has warmed up. Usually, what happens is there's a bunch of solder joints in there that tend to crack. And once those solder joints crack, uh, you know, you're just going to have loose connection. Sometimes it'll connect, sometimes it won't. So you might have intermittent issues. Uh, another, uh, another issue that couldn't be possible also is a connector that goes into that solenoid pack. So if you have that connector, is there, if there's any damage on the connector or the pins have some dirt in it, you can try just cleaning out that with contact cleaner. Luckily for the S54 owners, the solenoid pack, there are there is an option where you can get uh, a rebuilt one made by Bason Systems. Uh, Bason Systems is based out of North Carolina. You just purchase a refurbished solenoid pack from them. When you get their solenoid pack in the mail, uh, you can install it on your car and then send yours back and you get a little bit of the core deposit back. Uh, pretty much what they're doing, they're just taking them apart as you can see right here. Uh, once they take it apart, they you know separate the section, fix all the solder joints, reflow it, you know, add solder, do whatever it needs for each you know, unit. And then pretty much, I think they're reliable from that point on. I don't think they are gonna break again. Uh, Based on Systems also sells repair kits for these ceiling plates. 
Uh, so this is pretty much like the gasket between the solenoid valve body and the rest of the vanos. Uh, and they have all these O-rings that come with it. So that pretty much just saves you from buying a brand new ceiling plate. And these O-rings are made from a different material and are supposed to last a little bit longer. Uh, with their solenoid kit, they also usually give you the O-ring for this uh, restrictor valve for the vanos as well. Uh, you usually pull this off, it's just a 22 millimeter uh, socket size. When you pull the whole thing out, there's a couple of O-rings and there's also a filter on there which you can clean out. And you also want to clean out this valve body. So the valve body, uh, you can use a very strong magnet to open and close the valves. You want to just use brake cleaner or any type of other you know, cleaner that will flash off and just clean everything out. You'll just see a bunch of gunk coming out until there's no more oil coming out of any of these holes. So there's one, two, three, and four holes. These holes are what you want to spray that cleaner in, and you want to just keep opening and closing uh, the solenoids with the magnet. Uh, I'll try and make a video on just cleaning this whole assembly by itself and replacing the whole solenoid control unit. I'll make a video on that separately, that way you guys can have a reference video for that. Now moving on to the Vanos unit. So this right here is the whole Vanos unit with that oil pump disc removed. Um, there's also, Base on System has, like I said, Base on Systems has a lot of uh, you know options as far as repairing these Vanos units. So they even have a seals and anti-rattle kit uh, where you would remove all of these bolts right here, pull both of these off, and you'll actually be able to replace all the seals and put the different cups to prevent the Vanos from rattling. So that's more of like, you know, just preventative maintenance. Um, you wanna knock that out whenever you have the Vanos pulled off. Uh, whenever you're doing that solenoids, you don't have to pull this entire assembly off, just that lower one. So luckily that's, you know, usually the first order of business whenever people start getting Vanos codes, they go and change that solenoid pack first. You can literally do that without pulling half the stuff off of the car, and it literally takes less than, you know, hour, two hours. Further with this Vanos unit right here, when you change the seals out and uh, install the anti-rattle kit, that should pretty much quiet down the Vanos. And the seals that Based on Systems uses, I think they're you know just one, one and done. Uh, you shouldn't have to replace them again. Now right here we have the oil pump disc. So the oil pump disc actually sits, these two holes uh, are what sit on the exhaust tub. So those, those two tabs sit right in here. And as you can see, I mean, there's quite a bit of marking from where the exhaust hub tabs uh, were sitting. And because the clearance is so big, usually what happens is they'll move around a little bit, especially while the car is running, and they'll just keep banging back and forth on that tab. And that's why the tabs usually break. Luckily, based on systems again, they have a redrilled oil pump disc. And um, mind you guys, I'm not sponsored by based on systems or anything. Their prices are very reasonable, and they usually have you know all of this stuff in stock for the Vanos. But so what they do is they they reuse the OEM oil pump disc but they'd re-drill two more holes uh, at the perfect angles or whatever, and they actually make them a little bit smaller than these so that the clearance is closed uh, for the, you know, the stock exhaust hub. So this is cheap insurance. You don't, once you do this, uh, you, don't, you shouldn't really have any more issues with the exhaust hub tabs. So this is something you wanna do preventatively. Um, and while you're at it, you know, there are some times I've seen these roller bearings also go out, and you'll notice that right away when you pull out this oil pump disc. Uh, the oil pump disc wouldn't be spinning freely in there and sometimes they're just literally broken in half and these bearings just spill out as soon as you pull out the disc. So now that I've pretty much shown the most common areas uh, of the Vanos, you know, problems, let's go ahead and see what we can do. If, you're, if your S54 is running properly and you don't have any issues right now, I highly recommend changing all of the bolts for the intake and exhaust hubs. Um, get the upgraded ones that are a little bit stronger, that way they don't ever shear off. And when you are doing the hubs, you do have to pull off the whole Vanos unit. So it's a good time to replace all of the seals, um, change that solenoid pack if it hasn't been replaced already. Also clean out that whole solenoid valve body really well. And also change the oil pump disc. So when you change the oil pump disc with one of those based on systems units, you don't have to change the whole exhaust hub, um, but it'll save the tabs from breaking in the future with that, you know, with the oil pump disc having smaller holes and tighter clearances for that exhaust hub tab. And besides that, you can get the anti-rattle kit that based on systems or any other spot where you can find, you know, all these Vano seals and whatnot. Get those, get the normal Vano seals and just change everything out and make sure you also do the sealing plate uh, uh, O-rings as well. Now, as far as codes go, so if you're getting uh, error lights for the Vanos and now you're trying to start the repair, uh, I highly recommend pulling off that valve cover and checking all those exhaust hub tabs. So usually the intake regulation for the Vanos, um, the the most common issues with those are either going to be the intake camshaft position sensor, 
which is located on the side of the head closest to the intake manifold and that does require you to pull off the intake manifold to get the bolt out and also the connector which is attached to the fuel rail. You also have the exhaust side camshaft position sensor um, and also the crankshaft sensor. But those usually send uh, different codes to the OBD2 port and you can just run that with the normal generic scanner. If you're getting other vandals related codes, I highly suggest doing the solenoids first, uh, get the rebuilt units or you can even buy a whole new unit. I think they're about six to seven hundred bucks. And if you don't really want to take apart your whole Vanos unit like I have done here, you can go to Dr. Vanos and they have a completely rebuilt unit. I think they're charging around $2,500 or so. It also includes all the new solenoids, um, the solenoid body, and all of their seals have been replaced. Everything's good to go. It's a fully refurbished with a couple of new parts in there as well. And that pretty much just you pull out the whole Vanos unit. You don't have to mess with any of the timing or anything and you just slap it right back on. But like I said, I highly suggest changing those intake and exhaust hub bolts um, so that way they don't shear in the future. So most of these items I know they're a little bit scarier than you know what you what most DIY people would want to do. Um, so what I would recommend doing as far as DIYing if you really want to do it definitely do the solenoids. Uh, that's something that you can do at home with just you know minimal tools. Uh, the only specialty tool that you would need is like the fan clutch uh, wrench set and you would also need like a small e-torque socket I believe it's an e4 or e6. Uh, and then just some brake cleaner and some strong magnets, which you can find that at your local auto parts store. Um, when you start doing more things like the exhaust hubs uh, or changing the bolts out for the hubs, that's something that you might want to take to somebody if you don't have the proper timing tools. I know a lot of people do it without the timing tools, but I highly suggest you buy them. Uh, they're not too expensive. I think they're about two to three hundred bucks. Um, and that'll just make sure that you don't mess up the timing. Otherwise, you're going to be pulling everything back off quite a few times to get it right. So if you have to do anything as far as hub related, I suggest taking it to a professional that has done it before. That way you know you can get everything knocked out without having uh, any variances in terms of timing or anything like that goes. The rest of like the Vano seals and stuff, you can also do that at home if you really wanted to. Uh, there's not really much to mess up there. But like I said, if you're not comfortable doing it, I do suggest taking it to a professional, especially if there's already something that's messed up. Usually most of the independent shops that are familiar with these engines, they can run Vanos tests uh, to pinpoint some you know, issues as far as what could have went wrong, um, see if there's you know, clogged solenoids or the solenoid valve body is clogged. Uh, usually they also have extra parts where they can swap things out just to see uh, if you know, there's something that's wrong without you having to spend a lot of money on buying new parts. And if I didn't answer any of your questions regarding the Vanos, make sure you leave a comment down below. And if you do need to get any of these services done, make sure you contact me through Instagram at ShopLifeTV. Uh, I'm located in Alhambra, California, and we can pretty much knock out all of your Vanos issues. As with most BMWs, the key here is preventative maintenance. You don't want to be stuck with a paperweight of an S54, so try to knock out any of these Vanos issues before they start occurring. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos. We'll also have a video on that solenoid valve cleaning and replacing the solenoids as well uh, using some of those base on systems parts. Uh, I'll have some of those websites linked down below as well. And thank you guys for watching.